Hi guys, Nick here, and if you saw my last video, my Hertz Gardens unboxing, then you saw that I have a new Monstera Ad and Sony eye with me today. I actually have two, one of them's my boyfriend's. If you watched the video, you might have heard me say that I thought we were going to have about eight plants in the pot. Well, it turns out there was 20, so we both have 10 beautiful Monstera plants each in our pots. And I thought it'd be kind of fun to go ahead and show you guys how I'm going to use this uh, moss pole to stake up my Monstera today and turn it into a bit of a totem pole. If you watch Perry's Plants channel, she's done this recently with, I think, both her Pothos and her Monstera Deliciosa, so I thought I'd go ahead and give it a try with my Monstera Adansonii. I ordered my moss pole from Amazon.com, and it costed about $10, and it comes with the moss pole itself, which is sphagnum moss wrapped in a little mesh coating with a metal pole to stake it into the soil, and then it also comes with these little clips that you can either use to stake your plant's uh, stems if they're small enough into the pole, or you can also use them to attach another pole on top to extend your pole if your plant starts to outgrow it. Before I started filming, I pre-soaked my moss pole so that all the sphagnum moss is wet. And that's something you're definitely gonna wanna keep up with if you're using this yourself at home. You wanna keep the moss wet because these air roots, whether you're using a monstera, a pothos, what have it, the air roots are gonna work its way into the moss and they are gonna wanna have some moisture inside there to feed off of. All right, I think we're ready to get started with our staking. So I think that I'm gonna get these two vines right here to start climbing. I'll probably just stake those two. I think the rest of them I'll probably stake later on because they are quite small. As you can see, these are the really two longest vines. So, I want to face this towards me. And I'm gonna stick the moss pole right behind these gently. I don't wanna break any roots on my way down, but I do want it to be sturdy. And that's what I really like about the fact that these has the stakes at the bottom is you don't have to just like, bury the pole around it, which I've seen some other poles, but just like a giant wood dowel that you stick in the soil. These are literally just metal sticks, so you don't have to worry about repotting your plant or damaging any roots. And so we basically already have it, you know, up as you can see. So I'm going to go ahead and take out some of these pins. I'll show you what they look like. I'll actually come around and show you up front what the pins look like. And you can see where the top, it's a bit of an angle to help catch your um, stems. Sorry, I know it's kind of blurry, but I think you can see. Okay. So, I'm just going to get this on the stem. I don't want the the leaf, I don't know if it's called a petiole with monsteras, but you know, the stem where the leaf attaches to the, you know, the growing stem. I want the growing stem attached. I don't want to hold the leaf down. And that'll also encourage it to shoot its air roots into the moss pole. All right, I have one of them up. Let's do the next one. So this is actually quite easy. They just really stick right in there. And I was worried that they weren't gonna, um, you know, hold in place. But these stems are short and are small enough that I think this is gonna hold really well. So I think this right here is what I have. It's my monstera up its moss pole. I think this is gonna grow really, really well. I'll come around and show you guys. I know that it doesn't look like much right now because it's kind of short, the vines aren't that long, but it's only going to continue to grow. And the point of staking your plants is that in the wild, your Monstera adansonii, your pothos, they grow along the ground of the understories of the forest, and then they find their way to a tree and they'll start to grow up the tree. And once they grow up the tree, that's when their leaves are going to start getting really big. You'll see it splits and even pothos leaves. So that's the point of doing this. Hopefully that this will grow up and as it works its way up, the leaves will start to get quite larger. And then I'll have my other Monstera with its small leaves trailing around everywhere. So that's the point of this. And I definitely recommend you guys get it. The brand I don't think I mentioned was called Mosser Lee. I'll definitely include a link in the description below uh, to where I purchased this on Amazon. Monstera Adansonii grows a lot quicker than Monstera Deliciosa in my experience. So I definitely recommend this to anybody who's looking for a fast and easy grower that looks very unique. Again, I got this off Hertz Gardens or Hertz.com, and I'll include a link in my description below, as well as above to my video of my unboxing. All right, guys, have a great day, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.